What's up everybody? How you guys all doing? I haven't done a Q&A since the time I was locked in an animal shelter kennel. Figured why not? Let's do another one. Before we get started on the Q&A, where I answer all of your Twitter questions, the long-awaited question that everyone wants to know why I moved out, uh, we'll get to that one later. Just because it's actually happened this morning, I thought I would share a story with you guys about how I almost got my plane emergency landed uh, while flying home from New York this morning. Pilot and the staff of the plane were ready to emergency land because of me, because I get really motion sick, so motion sick that I actually passed out while trying to get to the bathroom. I didn't know what happened and I was out cold. And then they took me to the bathroom and then apparently I fell asleep slash went out in the bathroom. They knocked on the door and basically said if I wasn't able to complete a medical release form, they were going to have to land the plane 45 minutes into a five hour flight. And I did my best. And the only thing I got on there was my name, my age, and my gender. And I couldn't do it. I guess I was comprehensive enough that they were like, we'll stick it. <laughs> But that was my morning, guys! Almost, you know, took 500 people into, like, Dayton, Ohio. Yay! I'm going rapid fire, starting now. Where is a place you haven't been to yet that you want to go? This tattoo, right here, uh, this, this guy's named Milford. And the reason why he's named Milford is because it was the one place in New Zealand that I wanted to go to, which was the Milford Sound and I never made it there. Considered the eighth wonder of the world. I wanna make it there one day. Hopefully, we'll go back to New Zealand this winter. If you were a potato, would you want to become fries or cream potatoes? Ooh. Ooh, that's a very sexual question. Do I wanna get hot and steamy? Or do I wanna get hot and creamy? Mmm. Creamy. Creamy potato. Would you ever want to be in a competition show like The Amazing Race or Survivor? I have been asked to do both of those. I will never do them because they take away your phone for like three months. I would love to do one of those shows if they would let me, you know, tweet. And I also think that would make the show a lot more interesting if I was live tweeting about trying to figure out how to get water out of a coconut and who I, who I should vote off just doing like a Twitter poll. What's your biggest accomplishment in life so far? I would have to say would be raising the $188,000 give or take for the SBCA LA. Um, that was a strenuous week. But to me, that's my biggest accomplishment is being able to use what social media influence I have to get back and raise some money for the fluffers and make Sparta proud who's chilling back there. I'm trying to hopefully raise a total of a million dollars by the end of 2018. Where do I want to go after Australia? I want to go to South America. Uh, that would be the sixth continent for me. Peru, Brazil, that would be ideal. I just realized this isn't like a super funny Q&A because I'm literally just actually answering the questions and I don't have anyone to banter with. Are you just as close to Sam and Colby as you were before you moved out? Yes. Sam and Colby and I still hang out. We still film videos. I know it doesn't seem like it because we all kind of pre-film our videos a little bit, but I've been filming with Sam and Colby. Uh, we're filming another video with them Wednesday night. Going to Australia with them, if you guys don't know that. They've been uh, friends and family basically to me for the last, you know, two, three years and they're always going to be that way. Don't worry about that. Do you ever want to fix what you've done in the past or leave them how they are? I like making mistakes. It's the only way I feel like I learn. I I've learned to accept those and learn from them and move on from them. There's no point in looking back and just, you know, dwelling in the things you should have done or could have done. What would you say to your younger self? Don't be an asshole. That, that's blatantly, I was a little shit uh, growing up. So that's the one thing I would say is try and be uh, kind and respectful to everyone. And it's okay to be confident, but there's that line of confident and then obnoxious, asshole-ish, cocky douche that no one wants to be friends with. I was that a lot of the time. Scariest thing to happen to you on a trip, that would be when we went riverboarding, which is boogie boarding down a river with rapids in it. There was a eight foot wide rapid and he was like, hey, don't go in this two foot gap, otherwise if you do, it's gonna suck you in. It's called the man eater, and of course, I hit perfectly into the two foot gap, and I got sucked in and sucked under, and I ditched my boogie board, did everything I was told to, and I just kept spiraling under and under, to finally spit me out. But that was probably the closest I ever got to dying. And also, that was my biggest fear, is drowning. I kinda feel like I've conquered that, and now I go scuba diving, and it doesn't bother me. Would you consider coming to Canada? We will be in Canada this summer. I can't say when or where or why yet, but in March we'll be making that announcement. Would you ever be open to having TFIL as a TV show? That's actually the the way it started. It was originally a TV show that I was pitching. Uh, I moved to LA and I was like, well, it's still a TV show. That's what you do when you live in LA. Three people that have this fuck it list that want to travel the country and in order to decide who has to pay for whatever cool thing they want to do, 
they have like a prank competition and then the loser has to pay for bungee jumping or the loser has to pay for skydiving and that's what every single episode was based on was this marquee thing you want to do how we're going to get there and the pranks we're going to do to figure out who has to pay for gas who has to pay for the hotels who has to pay for the activity and so forth and that's actually how it originally started and i had no luck and i was like well Let's just turn it into a YouTube channel. Why doesn't glue stick to the inside of the bottle? Uh, that's because it hasn't been exposed to air. Science. Do you have any nicknames growing up? Yes, my first name, I'm not proud of either of these. My first nickname was Ass Cramp. I was in a punk band and the stool I was sitting on whenever I would play would literally give me an ass cramp. And that, they just, that was my nickname. And then eventually that evolved into Greasy because I would sweat so much that they started calling me Greasy. Who actually is in TFIL? Uh, in the beginning, it was Heath and I, plus friends. Uh, Heath went off and did his own thing. So TFIL became just me, and then I would bring around different people. And now Heath is back full time again. So now it's Heath and I, plus whoever we bring along. What's one thing you haven't done yet, but want to do in the future? So this is a real thing. I'm planning on doing this this summer, but I want to get a tattoo while skydiving. I want to actually jump solo with another skydiver who has a tattoo gun hold out my wrist and get tattooed, get send it, tattooed on my wrist. That is one of my marquee goals for 2018. Will you ever continue the $100 game show videos? Yes, they are coming back. We are filming two of them this week and then two more the next week. I'm gonna try and be able to post those weekly, changing it up a little bit. I'm gonna have a co-host with me for every single episode. Get like a wheel and make it a little bit more of an actual game show feel to it. If you could invite three famous people to join you for a TFIL trip, who would you choose? That would be Brad Pitt. Brad Pitt. Brad Pitt. I would just want three Brad Pitts. Have you ever kissed a guy besides Heath? <laughs> so there's a video we filmed that never, ever, ever made it past my hard drive because it went so horribly, horribly wrong. It was a prank that we did. Jessa and Lauren, guys would come up to the booth and they would blindfold the guy. And if they guessed who it was that kissed them and they got it right, they would get a kiss from the other girl. And what would happen is that right when they would get blindfolded, they'd go in for the kiss, and then I would pop up and peck them on the lips and hop back down. And finally, we did it to a group of about five guys that Heath picked out. Other four friends obviously saw it happen. Two of them thought it was really funny. Two of them thought it was really, really, really messed up. And this kind of escalated really quickly. And before we knew it, they were threatening to kill us. There was a bunch of punk rockers that saw it happening, and then they came in and interjected. And then two other people on a bike, uh, they came in and they interjected. And all of a sudden, we had like four groups all going at it. Venice police show up, and the security comes in, and they start like removing everyone. And we literally had to get escorted to our car and taken off the beach property because these guys were legitimately trying. They had a knife on them. It went so so wrong, uh, but needless to say, yes, I've kissed four of the guys. When is the new Scented Gear coming out? So I have been working on this for a while now. We've kind of been delayed. Uh, one design that we have coming out is this guy right here. This is gonna be on a t-shirt. Uh, we have a couple more designs similar to this that are like massive illustrations. They're gonna go on shirts. Uh, we have a cool new logo coming out. Uh, baseball jerseys, hockey jerseys that are being custom made snapbacks, bunch of new stuff coming out, but frankly, I don't know when I'm trying. Plan is to have everything out by the summer. What's the weirdest thing a guest has done at your house? Someone pooped in the upper part of my toilet, which I found out later is called upper decking. And then you can't figure out what the smell is because you're like, well, there's nothing in the toilet. And then it normally takes you like two days to figure out that someone pooped in the top. So thanks to whoever did that at the house party I had in 11th grade. Have you started planning the next live stream charity event? Do you know what you'll be raising money for? This was originally planned for December, but the idea was I was going to lock myself inside of a freezer truck, an actual freezer truck at, you know, 32 or below degrees. And the message there was to raise money for homeless people who have to endure those conditions that are outside and 30 degrees below, especially in the East Coast in sleeping bags or whatever it is, trying to endure the conditions. And I was gonna do the exact same thing. I was gonna get locked in the freezer truck until we raise $100,000. Still gonna do that, hoping in March after the Australia trip, I'll be able to manage and make that happen. Do you have any footage of behind the scenes, like any of your videos? Yeah, all that's going on our Patreon, if you don't know about that, all the behind the scenes from TFIL is going on the Patreon. So if you guys wanna check that out, you can support it. I get, this, I get this question a lot. What's a good camera to get that's not very expensive? Okay, I'm gonna show you guys the original camera is right here. This bad boy was our original TFIL camera. This is a Canon 70D. Screen pops out, it spins around. You can see yourself if you want to film selfie. This lens is a wide lens. Gets you everything you need. 
and then of course you got a little zoom one. So this lens and this lens total are like 400 bucks and that camera is like 700, all brand new. You can find it all used probably for like 600, 700 dollars. That thing endured the first year of TFIL where we didn't know what we were doing and we were throwing gear around. Great camera, autofocus, stabilizer, highly, highly, highly recommend. Stand by Canon, I've been using their gear uh, since day one, still using it right now. And this Q&A on the question that everyone has been asking, why did I move out of the house? And I want to make this answer as honest to you guys and as fair to everyone involved as I can. A couple reasons, the main reason being I have lived with multiple roommates since I was 17. I've been living with four people, uh, five people, three people, then of course Denny Ave, where I lived with you know Zane and Heath and Scott and Todd and everyone else that was over. And then from there I went over to my old house with Sam, Colby, Corey, Aaron, Devin. And it was just time that I didn't live with as many people. Right now I live with one other person, but the warehouse is separated. We kind of have our own space. Um, and it was just time at 27 years old to not live in a house just filled with people all the time. And, 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 and on top of that, as some of you guys have noticed, there was a little bit of a problem that happened. Um, I'll, I'll say this as, as easily as I can. None of the guys had a problem with each other. None of us. All the guys in the house got along. I am still friends with Sam and Colby. Uh, Aaron and I were never really friends. We didn't really know each other before we moved in. We hung out in the house here and there. I tried getting him in videos as much as I could, and I think he did the same. Corey and I obviously were great friends, and things happen. If, if that makes sense, like just things happen, and he had to do what was the right thing for him. I had to do what the right thing for me was. We both had to be admirable and stand by our, our characteristics and, and do what we felt was right. And unfortunately, that didn't line up perfectly. Um, and it kind of just, it separated us a little bit. I wouldn't say that him and I like have beef or any form of like hatred for each other or anything like that. Frankly, I don't have anything against Corey. I don't think he has anything against me. Um, but something happened that just kind of where we butted heads a little bit and neither of us were going to stand down from our position because he's a strong-minded person. I'm a strong-minded person. I, I stand by my values. He stood by his values and the conflict was just never going to go away. And it was kind of at the exact same time where I felt the need to get my own place. And that's kind of just what it, how it worked out was just like, I've, I've had this feeling that I need to live on my own or as close to it as I can for a while. A little bit of a, you know, a quarrel came up and it was just kind of like, all right, well, here's the easy solution. I'm just going to go get my own place. I know you guys have a friend that wants to move to LA and it just kind of timed out that way. That's kind of the best answer I can give you guys because the, the problem that happened is our problem is a personal problem. We don't need to share it. Um, we both handled it as best we could. I truly believe that we both did our best to make it work. And it just, that's how things worked out. Just because it's been kind of a, a serious Q&A the entire time, I'll just end it kind of on a, on a, on a serious note. Uh, to everyone out there who is looking to do the YouTubes and wants to make videos, the number one question I get asked is how do I start a YouTube channel? And I always say this to everyone, it's start a YouTube channel. Um, so if you guys are watching this and you're like, oh, I want to start one, just go ahead and make one, make a link, film some random stuff, whatever you think is funny, and, and post it and edit it and you'll get better video after video after video. You don't need the best camera gear. I started on iPhone 3 on Vine uh, and I worked my way up and upgraded my phone and eventually was able to afford a camera and just keep doing it. Uh, whatever it is that you guys want to do, seriously, uh, go after it, get it done, make friends. Uh, and, and enjoy enjoy life, you know? And uh, to all of our friends in Australia, I'll see you guys soon. And all of our friends in the United States and Canada, we'll see you soon too. And then hopefully all the other countries in the world. Yeah guys, thank you for all your support. Uh, all the, the, the normal videos are gonna come back <laughs> after this one. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go to sleep now.